So there's a few different ways of sharing this. The, the default is that your infographic is actually set to private, so no one can view it except for you or others that you share it with. Um, one thing that you can do is you can get a shareable link, and when you do that, um, you can get a link that you can share with people, obviously, and then you can designate what level of permissions they'll have. I, I just leave it at anyone with the link in view, um, and then you can get that link and share it with people. So uh, that's one way to do it. The other way to do it, um, if I actually want to embed this onto a site like a Google site, um, the way that I find that's actually the easiest is I'll go down and I will go down to save as, or sorry, download as, and then um, JPEG if you want it to be compressed or PNG. I'm, I'm just going to go with PNG. And then you'll see that that is saved. I'm going to go ahead and show that in a folder. So I see here I'm going to click that over to my desktop. Okay, so now let's say I want to put it in this page. I'm going to go ahead and edit this page and insert an image. It's really easy. I just go to insert, click image. I'm going to have to upload the image. Hit open. Hit OK. And you'll see that this is quite a large image, and, and that's actually good because uh, you'll want people to read what's there. The default that I tend to do is go to 100%, so that makes it 100% of the page. Um, if, if you go to their large, it's obviously too small. Uh, so if you go to 100%, I, th I think that's a good way to do it. Um, and I've done the other way that you can embed it. I actually don't recommend, but I'll, I'll just go ahead and show you how you can do that. Um, you can go to Insert, and then Google Drive, and then you go to Drawing. And then it has all of your uh, Google Drawings there, and I'll go ahead and select. And then you change the height and the width. And th this is why I don't recommend it, because it's really difficult to know what height and width you want it to be. Um, I'll just go ahead and go 2,000, which is huge. And then I'll go 800. So again, it's, it's really just a shot in the dark, but you'll see that it's there. And then when I hit save, it'll show up. Um, but again, it's a little too long. Uh, so it's, it's really up to you how you want to do that. Um, I, I actually recommend the first way I showed you by saving the image and then uploading it. Um, so yeah, that, that's it. Pretty, pretty easy.